I see it. You see the muskrat? He's right there. That was awesome. How, what's the luck? I look down there just as he catches it. My name is Joseph Carter, and I am the Mink Man. When I was a senior in high school, I started learning about the American mink. I was told that mink were horrible, vicious little animals who were impossible to tame. Challenge accepted. I've been in love with mink ever since. I get mink from fur farms and give them a new life. In this new life, my mink live as naturally as possible, even hunting for their dinner the way a wild mink would. So come join me on my adventures as we learn more about this intense little predator, the amazing American mink. Okay, so if you look here, there's been a muskrat here very recently. Uh, not, I shouldn't say very recently, but uh, rather recently. You see he's dug out this little, little um, ditch they like to dig because they love to have their holes underwater or as much underwater as possible. So he was living here because he dug out this little ditch. He dug out another little ditch here. And it's this muddy is really slimy. So this has had water recently. It looks to me like it's recently dried up, just from the guess of it. And if you look, there's little muskrat poops in the mud, like way too many to just be like, you know, occasional muskrat coming by. So he lived here, but the water's gone and it looks pretty clear that he's gone. Cause if you look in the mud, this is all really soft. We should see muskrat tracks in it. So before, the, before the water totally left, he left. So the question is where'd he go? So we're gonna look up and downstream and see if we can find him. <laughs> that hole that's on the far side of Onsa comes out under these weeds. Yeah, it's right there, look at her. Good dog, good dog, she down. The muskrat did a pretty good job finding a place to hide from us, but good old Onsa knew where it was. I see it. You see the muskrat? He's right there. Uh, so he's just hiding. See that little hole? Did he poke his head out? Yeah, I can see oh, him. Oh, I saw him again. She's looking. She's, she's like, I smell it. I know it's here somewhere. Muskrats can be pretty tricky prey for an inexperienced mink, especially when the mink has lots of previous brown rat hunting experience like Shelby does. Shelby keeps looking for muskrats in places a brown rat would typically hide. You gotta go in the other way. Oops. Go the other way, good girl. No, go in. Go in there. Go down in this hole or something. There she goes again, looking for the muskrat where a brown rat would hide. She doesn't really understand the concept that the muskrat's gonna stay near the water and often hide under the water. I poke a stick up in the hole and splash it around in the water to try and encourage her to go into the underwater entrance, but to no avail. Right here. He 
He's coming out. He's really nervous about us. Usually they don't care about us. Usually they just ignore us. And, oh, wow. How did you work? He's right there again. He's right where you saw him before. I saw water move. Yeah, I see him. Careful. Careful. He's going up. She had to have ran right past it. One thing quite strange about this muskrat is that it's overly concerned with our presence. Typically muskrats totally ignore us and are just afraid of the mink. If in fact, if you watch some of my other videos, you'll see the muskrat actually hide behind our legs trying to get away from the mink. There, now she's starting to get it. Now Shelby's looking where a muskrat would run. Hiding under the water in here where she can't find it. Hold her breath. Right there. Oh, you see him? Mm That's great. <laughs> He's such a tricky guy. Keeps just going in circles. It's times like this when you really miss good old Fang. With all of her experience, she'd have done a much better job on this muskrat than little Shelby did. But that's okay. Shelby's just learning and, you know, it's kind of fun watching her develop and grow. Finally, success at last. Shelby nails the muskrat on the butt just as it's about to escape. It's a little frustrating sometimes watching her fumble around and try and figure it out, but at the same time, you know, it's pretty exciting watching her learn and develop, and, you know, next hunt she'll do a lot better. She'll know better how to expect where a muskrat will go, and, 
It's always good to give her a good little learning experience like this. Fun little hunt. So much work in such a tight little area. Good girl. Good girl. Wow, that was that was pretty cool. He was pretty tricky for for being stuck in such a teeny little area. He just kept running her in circles, running her in circles, dipping under the water. That was fun. Good girl, Shelby. Good girl, Shelby. You did a good job. You did a really good job. That was hard work, huh, sweetheart? You did a really good job, Shelby girl. You did an awesome job. That was a that was a lot of work for that little guy, huh? Have a good dinner. Now some people wonder why I feed the mink meat after it just caught a muskrat. It's kind of funny the conclusions people jump to. They think I like throw the rat in the ditch or something. Why? <laughs> I'm obviously feeding the mink meat. Where do you think the meat came from? <laughs> so this, for all those who are curious, this is just muskrat meat and a little bit of brown rat meat um, ground up from previous kills. I feed them separate like this for a couple different reasons. One is to encourage them to bring it back to the box because then they know they've got an easy to eat ready-made meal waiting for them if they take it back to the box. The other is, I freeze this for several weeks before feeding it to them. That way, um, the vast majority of parasites have been killed off by the freezing, and so it's less likely for her to get a parasite from the meat. Good job, sweetheart. That was a good little hunt. Good girl. Yep, here it is. Good girl. Good girl. I never would have found this. I love having a dog. Good girl. Yeah, I never would have found this. Good girl. Good dog. That was so hidden. Good girl. Good dog. Oh, what a good dog. Oh, what a good dog. Okay, let's grab me. Whenever possible, muskrats prefer to only have underwater entrances to their den. An experienced muskrat hunting mink knows this and will dive under the water to find the entrance to the den. One of the frustrating parts about muskrat hunting with an inexperienced mink is they don't yet know how to search under the water for the muskrat dens. So for the first several hunts, you have to either find a muskrat den that happens to have above water entrance, or like in this case, you have to dig them an entrance. It's times like these when I really miss Fang. Fang was so good she would dive under the water and find dens that we would have never found without her. Fortunately, I have Onsa to help me both find the holes and to dig them out when necessary. This water's deep and muddy enough, it might be gone. Okay. Oh, there's a muskrat. You saw it? Yeah, it's right here. I, I think it or was that him. Oh, that is not the muskrat. Yeah, it just. Oh, oh there's, the, there's the muskrat. Oh, there's the muskrat. Is that another one? Yeah, I think it is. No, it's, it's, it's getting away. <laughs> Where'd it go? I don't know. Oh, there's a trap. There's one back in. So they're 
there's a, there's a circle. I mean, the last guy can, kind of like the last one, but all underground. Because, oh, it's good. Got it. Got it. I think the mink's got the other end, though. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the mink's got the other end because something's pulling him in way stronger than the muskrat. Yeah, he's got it. The mink's got it and I got his tail. Oh yeah, there's no way that's a muskrat pulling. Holy crap. Yeah, the mink, that's so cool. The mink caught it right in front of me. Yep, see, look, I was right. Good boy, Brock. Good boy, Brock. Good boy, Brock. Good mink. There you go. Good job. Get it in there. Pulling in your box. Good mink. Woo! Good boy, Brock. Get in there. Oh, yeah. What's the luck that I happened to look down there just as he caught it by the face? And his little tail sticking out. And I'm like, oh, I can catch it. And then as soon as I grabbed it, I'm like, dude, there's something a lot bigger on the other end. <laughs> oh, wow. That was awesome. How, what's the luck? I look down there just as he catches it. Because they've been screwing around in there for a while. Good job, bro. That was freaking cool. Good dog. Good dog. Did you find the muskrat? That's such a good dog finding the muskrat. Good job, Mr. Brock. You ready for din din, huh? There's your dinner. Good boy. There's your dinner. Such a good man. That's such a good mink. That's such a good mink. Oh, good boy. That was fun, dude. Now, if you're really wanting to dive into mink and learn the nitty gritty details, I would strongly recommend you read my book, The New Sport of Minkinry. It has 242 pages of valuable information for anyone who's considering getting a mink themselves or really just want to learn about this incredible little animal.